from Ireland. And they said, where, where's that? I don't know where that is. So good for you. Good for you. Yeah, I mean, and also I have seen, a, I, mean, I used to study world maps. And so I know Ireland is beside, you know, I mean, it's, how does it, it's next to UK, right? In Yeah, yeah it's beside this, the UK. It's on the west hand side of the United Kingdom. That's right. Yeah, I know. Uh, so yeah, and I also know, yeah, I mean, there is Excellent. a world map over there. Uh, so I can easily see, yeah, like yeah, in the west side of UK. So yeah, I know. Yeah, we're, 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 we're pretty small. We, we, we're quiet. We don't bother anybody. And sometimes people forget we're there. And this suits us perfectly. So we're happy there. Oh, that's David, good. Where, where are you from? On? Yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm from South no, Korea. No, God, no, no. I, I, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. There's a delay there. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't live in Ireland. I live in Italy. I live in Italy. Oh, so you currently live in Italy? Yeah, I live here in Italy with my wife. We teach English here, and this is our job. So sometimes I come to Cambly when I, I need more money <laughs> or I have uh -huh. a day off, something like this. So, yeah, we live nice. here. We've been living here just over a year. And oh, it's, over it's a really year. great place. We like it. Oh, I see. And by the way, I guess yeah, there is a little delay. Like, you know, whenever I, uh, you know, say something, you, you know, you answered really late. So I guess yeah, there is some problems. I like, yeah. What about you? Do you have any problems? Sometimes, David. Yeah, there is definitely definitely a delay. Sometimes, David, if you if you would like to try leaving the classroom and coming back in, sometimes this will fix the problem. Would you like yeah, to try I mean, this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I would really like to fix this problem. So yeah, I'll call you back. Okay. Thanks, sir. I'll wait here for you. Oh, yeah, now, now I'm back. Uh, can you hear me well? Yeah, much better. What about, is there still a delay? Uh, I guess, yeah, no, I can I don't realize anything. I guess there isn't any delay right now. I guess the Fantastic. problem fixed. Yeah, it is very good. good. I'm glad, I'm glad. So, David, where, where are you from? Uh, yeah, South Korea. I live in a city called Daegu. Daegu. Okay, I've, yes. I've never spoken to anybody from this city. Tell, tell me about it. Uh, so, yeah, sure, I mean... So that was pretty famous. It's like fourth famous city in South Korea, and it's pretty far from Seoul. Uh, but yeah, but in the yeah, my city, my city is surrounded by mountains. So yeah, really great for me. Like I love Very hikings nice. and, and your city. So yeah, I guess that's all. That's about it. Excellent, right? So I mean, uh, it's. It's a tourist city. I'm, I'm looking it up here on the map. I actually have maps open beside me. So I'm having a look. And I'm sorry, sir, again, da Daegu. Daegu? Daegu? Yeah, D Daegu. Daegu, yeah. You, I guess, Daegu. yeah, you have a good pronunciation. Yeah, Daegu, yeah. Okay, I'm looking. But yeah, I mean, we have, yeah, the, Daegu is surrounded by mountains, so we have a lot of mountains, but unfortunately, we don't have any sea. So, yeah, that is quite unfortunate. I'm like, I guess we need this, to drive this, like three hours. Yeah. yeah, this is very similar to where I live. I live in the middle mm -hmm. of Italy, and it, for us to get to the ocean, it's like a three-hour drive. But we three live hours. in the mountains. Yeah, we live in the mountain, and, and, and it's very beautiful, but to get to the ocean always takes quite some time. I see. I got it. Yeah, we're quite the same. And you said you live in Italy with your wife, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yes, I and mean, is your wife also English? Uh, Irish. Uh, Irish. Oh, she's also Irish, and she's also but, but like, Irish. Yeah. Yeah, but what made you guys to go to Italy? Like, do you have any oh. reasons? Well, we 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 both spent time in Italy as students, and um, we oh. both enjoyed it a lot. The food is fantastic. But David, to answer your question, the main reason we came to Italy is it's really really cheap. Oh, is the cost of living there is cheap? Very very cheap. You can live here very comfortably on teacher's wages. You can live here very comfortably with very little money. It's a really great quality of life here. Um, oh, well, yeah, yeah. completely. Let, can, that sounds can I, cool. Yeah. Let me give you an example because things always work better with an example. That's right. If my wife and I, we went out to dinner in Ireland, say it's a special occasion, a birthday, I took my wife to a restaurant. 
a simple three course meal, maybe sharing a bottle of wine would be somewhere in the region of 150 euros, $150. Okay, so it's 150 dollars. Something like this. If Emily and I, if we decide to go out in Italy, same meal, actually a better meal, would be about thirty dollars, thirty euros. Thirty dollars. So I mean, like it's five times expensive in Ireland. But yeah. you can, to be honest, but in fact, you can buy better food or you know more bigger food in Italy. Yeah, yeah, completely. Oh my uh, God! Say a, a bottle of beer, something that kind of size in Ireland would be five dollars. In Italy, $5. it's 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 one dollar. One dollar. Oh my God! Yeah, that's very cheap. Well, I mean, I didn't know that it was that cheap because you know, like all the European countries are very, you know, how does as far as I yeah, I mean, I heard that all the European countries are you know, like good and strong countries. So I thought they were all expensive, but yeah, I mean, Italy is not. So yeah, I guess yeah. If I it, want it, to travel, I mean, if I'm planning to travel, like, I should visit Italy. Definitely, definitely. But remember, it's this is the same in every country. If you go to Dublin, if you go to London, if you go to Roma, Seoul, everything will be more expensive in the bigger cities. That's right. So yeah, I mean, we, we, we live two hours from Roma. We live two hours from Florence. So we live, you know, quite, quite a distance from a big city. So I guess in a way it's cheaper because we live further away, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I also realized that, you know, if, you know, how do I say, you know, a big city is more expensive. Like, uh, for example, if I go to my, if I go, if I visit my grandma in Yeongdok, so Yeongdok is like a country in, yeah, South Korea is, it's very, how's it? Uh, yes, yeah, it is, uh, how does countryside is in countryside. And of course, when I buy food there or when I buy any products, yeah, it's really cheap. But, you know, when I come to Daegu, it's completely different, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, I also realized that, you know, big city is more expensive. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So whenever you do come to Italy, and I hope I hope you do someday, if you go to Roma, Florence, Pisa, Milan, Venezia, all of the really touristy places, you're you're gonna pay. You'll pay a lot of money. You'll pay yeah. more money in Roma than you will in Ireland for a beer. But yeah, if you go a little bit outside the city, the prices just they go all the way down. So it's it's very very affordable for us to live here. I know. I mean, and also like, you know, you know, there aren't a lot of people because it's not like a biggest city. Right. So also it's quite relaxing and right. Yeah. Very relaxing. Very nice and relaxing. And I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you my city. Um, I have a great yeah, photo I guess, here. Yeah. I was showing somebody earlier on, someone was asking where I live. Um, this is the picture of my, my, my town. Let's see. Yeah. Wow. It is very beautiful is there is there like a castle is there a building what is that it's yeah we we uh, that's a what would you call it a cathedral it's uh like a really big church church oh yeah that is a church it looks huge i mean i've never seen a huge church yeah. like that before i know it's it's we uh we live in a very beautiful town called assisi and assisi oh yeah i can see the name a CC, and it's a it's a it's a very old, beautiful place, and we're very lucky we 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 have the chance to live here. And it's, yeah, I um, guess yeah, you guys are very lucky. We are, we are. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, would you like to visit Italy? Is Italy a a destination that interests you? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. That actually, I was thinking about visiting Italy when I become older because you know what, my dad. So I, my dad works in a company and. Is at the headquarters of the company is located in Italy. So yeah, I'm, I mean, and also he bought some souvenirs when he when he visited Italy or was it France? Well, I don't remember anyways. But so yeah, that's yeah. I want to visit Italy one day with my family or with my dad. Excellent. Good for you. Good for you. Your your English yeah. is fantastic. Oh, you think so? Well, yeah. Thank I know. You. I know so. I know so. I don't say that to many people. But your English is fantastic. How how long have you been using Cambly? I've been using Cambly for almost like three years, which is quite a long time. I guess yeah, almost three years. Uh, so yeah, I mean.
helps me a lot with my you know english you know english speaking Excellent. especially so yeah how, how really often do you how often do you use it uh every I, I use it every twice a week so i i didn't i didn't use it a lot so but actually you know what uh so I, so I'm in second grade in middle school currently, and there is a Filipino guy in my school. So I can speak English every day. Like I can practice, you know, every Monday to Friday, and I can maybe I can use Cambly in weekend, or maybe I can you know listen to a lot of English in weekends. So yeah, I guess now I'm in a really good environment. Like I'm good, doing really good great. For you, David. So yeah, you, I guess you mentioned you're in you're in second grade in high school. What? Oh no, what no middle school. Middle school. Okay, so. I'm, I'm not familiar with the with the Korean education system. So, can can you explain this to me? What's what is second grade in middle school? What what age are you generally? What ge generally what age are you when you're in second grade in middle school? Uh, so generally, when you become like 15, you go to you're in middle second grade in middle school, and okay. and when you become 16, you're third grade in middle school, and when you okay. become 17, you're you don't stay in middle school anymore. You go to high school. And I guess when you become like 20, you go to college. So yeah, it, this, that's, that's how the system here works. So are, are you 15 or 16? Uh, currently I'm 15. Next year I'll be 16 and I'm going to be the third grade. Fantastic, look at you. You're very impressive. I'm very, very impressed with your level of, uh, your, your grasp of the English language. I'm very impressed. I. I Thank don't you. often find 50, I don't often speak to 15 year olds with your level. So uh, really? good for you. And yeah, you, you can tell your parents I said that too. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I guess yeah, they'll be so proud. Well, yeah, first of all, thank you so much for saying that. But, you know, I mean, I just True. practice a lot. I'm thinking like, so yeah, and, and you know what, actually, uh, learning English, I mean, English is one of my favorite subjects in school. And so, I guess maybe that's why I enjoy, I mean, I enjoy learning English a lot. So maybe that's why I can speak well. I don't know. But but still, I need. I have a long way to go, right? I mean, still, I, you say I, mean, this. I also... You, you, you say yeah. you have a long way to go. I don't know. I mean, I, I think you're pretty, you're pretty, you're pretty up there. I mean, if I was to, if I was to evaluate you over 15 minutes, I would, if you were to sit an IELTS exam, do you know the IELTS exam? Yeah, I know IELTS. I mean, I've, yeah. I guess I've seen a video, uh, you know, IELTS video. Like, I guess it's kind of like a speaking test, right? You know, there's a person who asks you a question and yeah, you answer in English. Yeah, I know IELTS. If, if I was to make a 15-minute assumption on you, I would say that you would pass IELTS at a very high score. Oh, really? You think so? Yeah. I mean, can I speak that well? Well, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, you do. That encourages me well, a lot. Rem I remember, it's, it's not the speaking, it's how you speak. You oh, speak the way with I... coherent thoughts. You don't say, um, uh, um, you don't have to recall different words. That's what we look for in an IELTS exam, is somebody who is able to have a, have a thought, explain it, and move on. And this is exactly what you do. So, I don't know, part of me thinks, part of me thinks you doing an IELTS exam soon would really be a great, as soon as you can, as soon as you hit, I think it's 17 or 18. As soon as you hit IELTS age, I think you should sit the exam because I think I think you'd pass, and then and then you, the world opens up for somebody who has an IELTS certificate, an IELTS score. Oh. It really does. But yeah, yeah I'm very very impressed. Good for you, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. And then you also encourages me a lot. I guess.